52 The story of Raccoon Ridge City within the land called the Changers Church Valley Reservation. The reason we called it Raccoon Ridge City was when we got here there was just so many raccoons. There it was pretty hard even to keep food for the little bandits got into everything and if they could not eat it they moved it all over the place. It took us a while just to get things set up again just to go to work. So I called for an extra train with shipping cars that we can leave here to put all our stuff in. That solved it for they cannot get into a metal car. We even had bunkhouse cars show up so we can even sleep in them for now they cannot get into our cars like they did the tents and just tear things up. I am glad they got the train here now that is it much easier to get things done now. Now it has been a while and we have set up an area now for them and we feed them now so they stay around and the kids have fun feeding them, but cannot touch them for they are still wild. We have a like a long chute that they can put food in and it will go where they are at and they grab it and run off. It has been a while now and up until now if someone did something wrong we sent them to another town or to Tone Diddle for a court hearing. But now the city is getting pretty big now we have set it up so we can have court here once a week. Not only me but others will be here and soon there will be someone to take over and be here all the time but until now it is my turn to come here first. The population of Raccoon Ridge City has 300 residents, has 340 homes, stores, factories, three hotels with 200 rooms each, four dinners, dinners that can seat up to 10 each and the Changers Church Bank, horse riding with our with our wagon and a horse stable with fix-it shop, the Changer Church main office, church, council, court, jail, church school, County School and City Hall, General Store, Laundry Mat, Barber's Shop, Hairdresser, Small Hospital, Dentist, Movie Theater, Gospel Music, Dance Hall. When the town gets bigger there are more businesses added. I get here about noon time and the first thing I did was go for lunch. I picked the one I wanted and went in and sat down. It was not long when someone come over and said how can I help you? I ordered what I wanted and sat there watching everyone coming and going. It was not long when my lunch showed up and it looked really good. I sat there and just keep watching everyone going in and sit down and then the server come over and sat down a small box and they passed the something and then left. I found out later that the system is down so they give out small coins and when you get something you give them a coin with your name on it. I guess it has been going on for a while now. When I gave him my card they must have written down the numbers and just gave me my card back. When I got back to my office I called the main office to talk to the one that takes care of. Electronic banking. They said we have had some problems with the lines from the other town too. The one you are at now. We will check with just about everything the lines have been cut. I said I know how to fix it and send someone out to fix it okay. The person said as soon as I can get someone there. I said that is great and talk to you later. We hung up and I went to the city hall and it was the same there nothing was working either. They all told me about it too. I said I have someone fixing right now so it should not be long. When everything is up and running again. They showed up when I was in court and when I got down I asked for them to meet me in my office. They showed up and we sat and talked for a while and they said yes we can go that but it will take a couple days we will have to order what we need. I said that is okay just let me know when you get it done okay. I said now how many places have they cut the lines? They said it is just about three places every time. I said how much trouble would it be to put the lines inside the track. They said it would not really take much just move them and put in brackets. It would not take long with more people. The person said the reason mainly is because the lines tend to sag and if they sag too much the wheels cut the lines. So we ended up put them outside the track.
What if you put the line on top and put something over it to cover it so no one would really know it was there? Now that might even work. I said okay try to get it down but first I want to find out who is going all this in within the next week maybe we can catch them. They said okay we will get things set up once we get the stuff to set it up. I said that will work. They got up and left and I went to the dinner for supper. Well it is time for me to say goodbye for now and I will see you in the next town.